The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Our comedian takes on Ransom Everglades tonight on School Duel. Welcome to another exciting episode of School Duel, where 20 high schools from Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties battle it out in an academic tournament for South Florida bragging rights. And of course, the winner gets to walk away with the school trophy from Edco, a $1,000 check for each student courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and Chick-fil-A, and of course, so much more. Now with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, this opening round game matches the Archimedean Owls versus the Ransom Everglades Raiders in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the second round. So let's hear it for our two schools. But wait, of course, there's so much more because during the show, each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A challenge. Here, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Sounds good? All righty, let's go ahead and get started then. I know they're very anxious. Our first round is called the warning shot. Here at School Against School, competing with toss-up questions directed at the entire group. Now, each question is worth 10 points, and if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school then gets one chance to steal the points. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? All right. Well, prepare for the warning shot. First question deals with mythical beast. The pronoun in this passage refers to what mythical being? Now, he was clearly no ordinary horse above his broad white shoulders. Yes, Vidya. Pegasus. Pegasus is correct. Good job. Conflicts. The British poet Wilfred Owen wrote his best known poems during, yes, Dante. World War I. Correct. Good job. This might be a tight game here. Big cities located where the Patasco River meets the Chesapeake Bay named this eastern city known for its inner harbor and its Orioles. It is also, yes, Shiva. Baltimore. Baltimore is correct. Awesome. Next question deals with type of words. If used after a noun, it is called the predicative. Identify this part of speech that might describe a noun. For example, yes, Danny. Adjective. Adjective is correct. Good job. Next question deals with scientific theories. One version of it says that a brief inflation period lasted less than a billionth of a second after the creation. Yes, Danny. The Big Bang. Big Bang theory is correct. All right. Next question deals with vocabulary. Quote, the state of having too much mucus in your lungs and the, quote, state of too many cars using the same highway. Yes, Danny. Congestion. Congestion is correct. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the where am I question. Contestants will be given a famous location and a clue and then asked to tell us the name of the place described. Is everyone ready? All right, here we go. This is the fourth most populous city in the European Union. Referred to as the eternal city, you can, yes, Shiva. Rome. Rome is correct. Good job. And I'll finish the question. It says you can find the Colosseum, the Pantheon, and the Vatican City inside this Italian's capital borders. Very good, guys. All right, next question deals with NFL teams. Name this football team in the NFL's AFC South that plays its game at Everbank Field in northeastern Florida. Yes, Danny. The Jacksonville Jaguars. Yes, you are correct. Awesome job. We are definitely off to a hot start today. American authors. His most famous novel is still read in an annual marathon that marks his real life journey as a harpooner on a ship leaving Danny. Uh, Herman Melville. Yes, correct. All right, next question deals with famous comedians. After decades of stand-up comedy, he became truly famous on TV. Name this comedian who was on a self-titled show and now hosts TV's The Price is Right. Yes, Adia. Adi. Drew Carey. Drew Carey is correct. Good job. <laughs> Moving on to song history. During what period in the U.S. history were those songs most popular? Quote, the battle cry of freedom. The yes, Civil Daniel. War. 
Civil War is correct. Good job. <laughs> wow. Foreign art. Though brought to Spain by the Arabs, it is more famous today as a Japanese art technique. Name this art technique seen in the movie Between the Folds, which interviews masters of the art of folding a single piece of paper. Yes, Danny. Origami. Origami is correct. Next question deals with fault lines. The San Andreas Fault is in what state, Danny? California. Correct, Danny. Next question deals with food. For a farm to receive this designation, it must keep good records, rotate crops, and avoid genetically modified, yes, Shiva? Organic. Organic is correct. Oh, that buzzer means the end to the fastest warning shot round that I have seen. We have Ransom Everglades leading with 90 points. Our comedians not too far behind. They do have 50 points. We will be right back with more School Duel after these messages. Win an iPad from School Duel and Bright Star Credit Union. It's easy. Go to schoolduel.tv. Submit the correct answer to the Bright Star Question of the Week, and you're automatically entered into the drawing to win an Apple iPad. You can also vote for the player of the game on schoolduel.tv. A new winner is announced each week based on your votes, and all votes lead to the top player of the season. Visit schoolduel.tv. Everyone is welcome to play and vote. Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. to this exciting episode of School Duel. Our first round of exciting action ended with Ransom Everglades leading 90 points. Our comedian has 50 points. They're right behind them. Now, before we begin the second round, let's go ahead and take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. So let's start with the Archimedean Owls. Hi. Hi. All right, we're going to start off with Vidya. You are a freshman. And what do you plan on being when you grow up, Vidya? I don't really know. I'm just going to let things play out through high school and see what options I have. Okay, I'm sure you'll have a lot of options if you're already here on School Duel. Next to you is Yorgia, and you are a sophomore. What are your plans after high school? I want to become an astrophysicist. Ah, interesting. All right, and then next to you we have Adi Adia, correct? No. Aditya. Aditya. Okay, I was very close, though. <laughs> you're a junior, and what do you plan on doing after high school? Uh, something in film or computer science. Good for you. And your captain of Archimedean's team is Shiva. Shiva, you are a junior, and what do you want to be when you grow up? I haven't the faintest clue. I'll see how that turns out. Oh, that's <laughs> fine, because you will grow up one day, and you will have to figure it out. But it's OK right now. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and meet your competitors. They are from Ransom Everglades, and they are the Raiders. Welcome. <laughs> We're going to start off with Sebastian. Sebastian, you are a senior, and what are your plans after high school? Uh, I'm going to study biomedical engineering and economics. Good for you. Next to you is Samantha, who's a sophomore. What do you plan on doing? Well, I'm not certain yet, but I'm interested in Asian studies and business. Good for you. <laughs> then next to you, we have Dante. Dante, you're a junior, so you're very close to trying to figure this life thing out. What do you plan on doing? Not sure. Maybe a novelist. Oh, are you yeah. writing now? Eh, I used to. <laughs> OK, well, it's never too, it's never too early <laughs> yeah. to start. Now, the, the captain of Ransom Everglades team is Danny. Danny, mm -hmm. welcome. And what do you plan on doing? Um, I'm not exactly sure yet, but I'm considering pursuing a career in politics. Mm -hmm. Wow, I can mm. see you being a politician. <laughs> Thank you. I can. You, you project your voice very well. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, these are our competitors. Welcome and thank you for being here today. And now. And now that we know everyone, let's go ahead and move on to round two. The Joust here, one player from each school competes head to head with a 10 point toss up question. The player that wins then gets three bonus questions with their school worth five and then 10 and then 15 points. Alrighty, schools, are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, well, let's go ahead and prepare to Joust. Danny, Shiva. 
Nice friendly handshake. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Which country that has the world's second largest land area after Russia? Yes, Shiva? Canada. Canada is correct. Good job. Our comedian, these questions are all yours. Congratulations. The following bonus questions all deal with world geography. Bonus question number one is worth five points. What two continents lie entirely in the Western Hemisphere? Shiva? North and South America. Correct. Next question, worth 10 points. Ethiopia, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt are among the countries that border on this colorful border. Yes, Shiva? The Red Sea. The Red Sea is correct. Bonus question number three is worth 15 points. Name either of the two South American countries that do not border on Brazil. Shiva? Chile. Chile is correct. The other one would be Ecuador. All right, Dante, Adi, come on down. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. Give the English word, word originally taken from Dutch for the last car on a train. Yes. Audi. Carriage? Nope. Incorrect. Dante, would you like to try? Doesn't hurt to try. Nope. Okay, that would be a caboose, but don't go anywhere, guys. I have one more question for you. Redemption time. Give the English word originally taken from Dutch for a large spear with a barb thrown. Yes, Adi. Harpoon? Harpoon is correct. Good job, our comedian. These are your questions. Bonus question number one is worth five points, and they all deal with other English words from Dutch descent. A leather case you wear to carry a gun? Yes, Vidya. Holster. Holster is correct. Bonus question number two, worth 10 points. Made from batter, this breakfast food is often made in its namesake iron? Yes, Shiva. Waffles. Correct. Bonus question number three, worth 15 points. Name for one of New York's five boroughs, which is home to Coney Island and its iconic self-name, Shiva? Brooklyn. Brooklyn is correct. Good job. All right, Yorgia and Samantha, come on down. Ladies, my only ladies here today, here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. What cultural figure who can now be seen at Madame Tussauds Wax Museum in Washington, D.C., became most famous for her refusal to give up her seat on a Montgomery? Yes, Samantha. Rosa Parks. Correct. Good job. <laughs> Ransom Everglades, these are your questions. And the following bonus questions all deal with other cultural figures at the museum. Bonus question number one, of course, is worth five points. After her first husband, John, was killed, this presidential widow married Aristotle Onass Onassis. Samantha. Jacqueline Kennedy. Correct. Very good. <laughs> bonus question number two is worth ten points. After Neil Armstrong, he was the second man on the moon. Buzz yes, Sebastian. Buzz Aldrin. Correct. Good job. <laughs> and your last bonus question worth 15 points. With Carl Bernstein, this Washington Post journalist broke the Watergate scandal. That would be Bob Woodward. All right, Sebastian, Vidya, come on down. Here's your toss-up question. Worth 10 points. On a fishing trip, you might catch a brown one, a rainbow one, or a brook one. Name this commonly eaten fish. Yes, Sebastian. Uh, snapper. Incorrect. Vidya, would you like to try? Tuna. Incorrect, it'd be trout. All right, don't go anywhere. I have one more question for you guys. This commonly eaten fish is also called mahi-mahi and shares, yes, Fidia? Dolphin. Dolphin is correct, good job. The following bonus questions all deal with other fish you can catch and eat. Bonus question number one, worth five points. Its species include large mouth and small mouth. Ad Adi? Uh, bass. Bass, good job. All right, bonus question number two is worth 10 points. Its species include king and coho and are said Yes, Shiva. Salmon. Salmon is correct. Your last bonus question is worth 15 points. Its species include blue, white, and channel. Yes, Shiva. Soul. Incorrect. That would be catfish. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that buzzer means the end to the joust. We have a very interesting game going. Our committee went ahead and took the lead. They now have 155 points. Ransom Everglades has 115 points. But again, it's always anyone's game. So we'll be right back with more School Duel just after these messages. Are you interested in learning about TV production? 
Be a part of the Briarteen News Team, South Florida's only team-produced news show. Experience working at an actual TV station while learning on state-of-the-art digital equipment. We offer positions in everything from studio crew to school reporter. And for the more experienced students, we offer advanced credits as part of our internship program. If you're a student in Broward and you want to be a part of our team, then we've got a spot for you. For more information, go to www.browardteamnews.org and click on Join Our Team. Have you considered taking your high school courses online? Broward County Schools offers free virtual education for middle and high school. Courses include regular, honors, and advanced placement in all subject areas. Take one course or take a full course load all online. Broward Virtual Education welcomes homeschool and private school students. For more information or to enroll, call us at 754-321-1100 or visit us online at www.bbed.net while there's still space available. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's school dual champion. Now this opening round match has Archimedean competing against Ransom Everglades and it is a very intense competition. We do have Archimedean who just went ahead and took the lead. They have 155 points. Ransom Everglades has 115 points. We are now ready for the rapid fire round. Here each school will pick a category. They will then each try to answer 10 questions within 60 seconds from that category. Each question is worth 10 points. The the other school will then get a chance to steal any missed questions. Now, since Ransom Everglades is trailing, they will have the opportunity to pick their category first. Today's choices are starts with F and starts with T. So which category would you like, Ransom Everglades? Um, we'll pick starts with T. Starts with T. Okay, thank you, Danny. Alrighty, schools, are you ready? Well, here comes rapid fire. Starts with T. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter T. Each question is worth 10 points, and you'll have 60 seconds to answer them. So cue music, and let's begin. A long elephant's tooth made of ivory. Tusk. Go ahead. Famed conductor on the Underground Railroad. Tubman. Asian country whose capital is Bangkok. Thailand. A tangelo is a cross between a grapefruit and this small orange fruit. Tangerine. Pulp Fiction and Kill Bill director. Tarantino. The Kansas State capital is in what city? Topeka. The pressure wave that accompanies lightning causes this? Thunder. Official name of kettle drums? Timpani. Rock band and hits Hey Soul Sister and Drive By? Train. What Arizona, Alaska, and New Mexico war were before becoming states? Territory. All right, good job. You guys got through all your questions. And you didn't miss any. So, our comedian, you have no questions to steal from them. However, you now have all of your questions to answer. So, your category starts with F, the same thing for you. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter F. So remember, you do have 60 seconds to answer each question worth 10 points. Are you ready? So let's cue music and begin. Where you find thousands of trees? Forest. Okay. A little white lie? Fib. A Greek kind of crumbly cheese? Feta. Go ahead. The hunter always after Bugs Bunny? Belmer. What you cross at the end of a race? Finish line. Back to the Future and Teen Wolf star? Uh, Michael J. Fox. Named for fruit sugar? Fructose. This occurs when ice crystals form in the fluid of the skin? Frostbite. And what the giant said in Jack and the Beanstalk? Four words? Fee fi fo fum. Good job. And a story with a moral, Aesop told many? Fable. Awesome. All right, unfortunately, you guys missed one question. So, Ransom Everglades, you now can steal that question. The hunter always after Bugs Bunny, Danny. Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd, yes. Very good. <laughs> Very good job, ladies and gentlemen. And that is the end of the rapid fire round. We now have our comedian still leading with 245 points. Ransom Everglades is not too far behind them. They have 225 points. Let's go ahead and take a short break, and then we will be back for the final showdown.
In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships to team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. For you and we have an exciting opening round match going as Archimedean is holding on to its lead of 245 points. Ransom Everglades has 225 points and it is now time for the final showdown. Now this is the very last round and schools will go against each other with toss up questions but this time these questions are now worth 20 points. And remember if a question is incorrect the other school then can steal the points. All right schools are you ready? Good, because it's time for the final showdown. First question deals with government. It was fixed by Augustus at 600 members, 500 more than, yes, Vida. The Roman Empire. Incorrect. Ransom Everglades, listen carefully. It was fixed by Augustus at 600 members, 500 more than the U.S. group has today. Name this gover governing body of ancient Rome that often... The yes, Senate. Danny, the Senate is correct. Excellent. Next question deals with finances. In the financial world, it is an evaluation of an organization's financial status and financial practices. Yes, your dia. Your audit. Dia. Yes, audit is correct. Holidays. What is the two-word French name for the holiday always held the day? Yes, Danny. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras is correct. Foreign countries. Pop star Juanes was born in the South. Yes, Shiva. Colombia. Colombia is correct. Next question deals with lakes. The elementary mnemonic for recalling the names of the five great lakes. Yes, Vidya. Holmes. Sports accessories. What is the name for the brightly colored plastic horns that first came to prominence? Yes, Sebastian. Boozella. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Who Am I question brought to you by Hungry Howie's and Davey and Hollywood. In this question, you'll be given up to four clues about a famous person and asked to tell us his or her name. Are you ladies and gentlemen ready? Here we go. Who am I? He was born August 14, 1945. This comedian has appeared on TV playing banjo with his bluegrass band, the Steep Canyon Rangers. This wild and crazy guy has hosted Saturday Night Live more than a dozen times. He is known for his gray hair in his films, The Jerk, Bowfinger, and 2006, The Pink Panther. Yes, Yorgia? Steve Martin. Steve Martin, correct. Awesome. Moving along, movie quotes. What movie included this line? Hakuta Matata, it means Danny. The Lion King. The Lion King, everybody wanted that one. Body parts, in humans, the right one has three lobes, while the left one has Danny. Uh, the heart. Mm. Incorrect, our comedian, Vidya? Brain. Incorrect, that would be the lungs. Next question deals with sports. It's global football initiative lets mentally handicapped people play soccer worldwide. Yes, Danny. The Special Olympics. It's correct. Oh. Astronomy, by the time you find its event horizon, it is Sebastian. Black hole. Black hole's correct. France, the French Revolution occurred in what century? Shiva. 18th. Yes. The Renaissance, what Renaissance astronomer? Yes, Shiva? D Galileo. It's correct. Good, good try. Japanese origins give the more common word in the U.S. for this device that in Japanese literally means human-powered vehicle and is a, yes, Shiva? Um, bicycle. Incorrect. Ransom Everglades. It literally means human powered vehicle and is a bamboo cart with wheels that can carry one or two people when pulled by a walking Rickshaw. Yes, Danny. Rickshaw is correct. Next question deals with gems generally formed in the molten rock within the Earth's mantle. Name this form. Yes, Sebastian. Diamonds. Yes. Stories. They eat donkey's meat in the story of Gulliver's Travel. Name this race of filthy brutes. Danny. Lilliputians. 
Incorrect. Our comedian, listen carefully, named this race. Yes, Shiva? The Yahoos. Yahoos is correct. Next question deals with Asia. Which Asian country has received a $1 billion loan from the World Bank to clean its sacred Ganges River? Samantha? India. Yes. Multi-sport athletes. Besides football, what other sport did the NFL great running back Jim Brown star in at Syracuse University while carrying a stick with a small net? Yes, Danny. Track and field? Mm. Incorrect. Our comedian, Yorgia? Lacrosse? Lacrosse is correct. And that sound means the end to the school duel match as we have a tie, 405 to 405. <laughs> Very exciting. I told you guys it, would, it was anyone's game. Now we are going to go to sudden death, okay? I'm going to read a question. The first school to answer right will be the winner of today's school duel competition. Are we ready? Question deals with precipitation. Averaging only nine inches of rain per year, what is the driest state in the U.S., Shiva? Arizona. Incorrect. Ransom Everglades? Sebastian? Uh, New Mexico. Incorrect. That would be Nevada. I'll go to the next question. Deals with foreign capitals. What is the capital and largest city in South Korea? Shiva. Seoul. Seoul is correct. Our comedian with the lead. Congratulations. Our comedian, you take away today's game. Very interesting. Ransom Everglades, you did an amazing, amazing job. It was a very close game. Now, our comedian, this win puts you in the second round. Great job again to everyone. What an exciting game. It has also bring an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge. And today's winner is, drum roll please, Shiva. Congratulations. Congratulations on your Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for a year. At this time, I'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible. And please make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 7 p.m. as Wellington High takes on Park Vista High in another great opening round match. Goodbye, everyone. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union.